Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Discworld 2. When last we left off, we came up with the cunning plan to make death a clicky star. For that, we first have to go to Ankh-Morpork. The greatest city on the Discworld. All roads lead to Ankh-Morpork. Nor was that away from Ankh-Morpork? Probably both. We have to go back. Back to Ankh-Morpork! And back to the docks. We need some novelty stuff. Let's go in. You know, I doubt that I can just push the wall down. Yeah, we actually need to get in there. Novelty stuff? Now this looks interesting. No. I wonder what they are, not to mention what use they could possibly be. We need that novelty stuff. To get that novelty stuff, we have a hook nearby, conveniently. How do I get out of here? A ship? Yes. Back to Holy... to Hollywood, is it? A place where false dreams come true, or at least can be put on celluloid. There you are. In we go! To the world of sets. Cool. Cheap and tawdry film sets. Somehow, cardboard replicas of cheap and easily purchasable tents seem to be a good representation of this whole industry. You have to be kidding! The whole thing would fall down! What about this castle? Aha! A mighty castle! Actually, I'd find it more impressive if it didn't keep wobbling about so much in the wind. You have to be kidding! The whole thing would fall down! Okay. So, not a castle. There's a weight, though. Or a city. A mighty metropolis. Well, either that or another one of those cardboard sets. Probably a cardboard set, Rincewind. You have to be kidding! There is a weight, though. Ooh, lovely. I haven't been crushed by a one-ton weight in... Ooh, let's see now. Must be years. Let's go and dangerously start playing with it, shall we? Good plan. Let's get it. Ow! We got it, though. That's ours. A one-ton weight. Or, to put it another way, a one-ton weight. Fair enough. That should probably do if we hang it onto the, uh, the hook. Perfect. Back to the docks we go. I think that's pretty much an unbeatable plan. I'm amazed you can carry that, Rincewind. Here we go! Oh. Can you believe it? It needs to be heavier. Heavier? Heavier than a ton? Hmm. There is a way we can do that, though. This puzzle I remember off by heart because it's quite ingenious. You have to think carefully about this and uh, see that there is a mailbox here. What's a mailbox doing here? Ten. Hmm. The house number's starting to peel off. That's the hint you get to take the house number. It's not peeling off that much, is it? We have a number ten. A sticker with a number ten on it. A million household uses, no doubt. Just have to wait and see. There is only one that we're going to use, and uh, I'm sure you might have realised what it is by now. <laughs> Ankh Morpork is indeed a place where the most peculiar happens so very often. So obviously, if we simply stick a 10 onto the 1 ton weight, it's obviously a 10 ton weight, isn't it? I mean, it says it right there, doesn't it? Now? Now, that's the ticket. The wrecking ball to end all wrecking balls. You see, what is a wrecker's ball? And why am I never invited? Let's go! This'll certainly do the trick. Oh, yeah, oh. Oh dear. Well, the good news is all your, like, robes didn't melt off by, uh, landing on the river. Now that is a novelty. Little Discworld snowstorms. Let's get one. We have a novelty. Ooh, pretty. Little glass snow scenes of the Discworld. Lovely. We have one of the three items already. Not bad. Let's go back to Holywood. Most of the other items can, in fact, be got from here. There is an Ilm set here. Hmm. I-L-M. Impish Light and Magic. And indeed, here is the trainer of the Imps. There is something beyond, though. And that would be... a trailer and a door. Ah! A sort of low-technology security chain. And here is a door. 
Locked? Now that strikes me as being suspiciously unfriendly. Indeed. A star's trailer. Ah, stardom. What is it that makes perfectly sensible people leave their comfortable little houses and clamber for the right to take up residence in mouldy old caravans? Could it be a bag of cash bigger than your head? And here is the obstacle to getting into that um, trailer itself. The guard. A troll. 50% violence to 90% pectoral muscles to 5% brain. He'd point out the mathematical discrepancy himself, but he's still waiting for his vocabulary to be delivered. Let's talk to the troll. How are you, sir? Wallop. Uh, wallop. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, no. No. Oh, oh bleed. 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 Oh, pain. 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 Arr. Oh, God, stop it. Arr. Bang. Punch. Punch. What are you doing? Uh, um, I'm practicing our next few lines. What lines? The ones where I wallop you on the head. Ah, yes. Well, let's just avoid those pages entirely, shall we? Anyway, I happen to know there's no animation showing me being hit on the head. Why do you think the librarian's let me off so easily this time? Oh, hi. I had wondered. Wow, that was a bit of fourth wall breaking there. What's up there beyond the gate? Oh, that's where they're going to shoot the next big clucky. Famous star I hear. People are dying to see him. Maybe I'll get a bit part. They never know. They might need the odd rock or maybe even a landslide. I'm good at landslides. I thought you were in security. Aye, but I have my hopes. You see, my cousin just did. Trolls prefer blondes. Had a star and roll too. All the food he could eat as well. Although the hair did stuck in his teeth a bit. He ate the blonde? Nah, it wasn't a part of the equity rules. Or some such thing like that. They hired stunt doubles, you see. Stunt doubles? Oh aye. They looked like the star, but weren't actually her, if you know what I mean. Tasted good though, my cousin said. Have you noticed that he has a tooth that is glistening exceptionally? There is something specific about troll teeth that we will get to at some point. Right now, we just want into that trailer. So you're the security around here, are you? Security? Ah, that's right. Uh, I'll look after the, uh, the, the what's it? The, uh, the, uh, the, the sets. That's it. And the, the trailers and the canteen. Canteen? So tell me, what's the food like here? Oh, I wouldn't know. I order in. Yeah, the local quarry delivers now. A uh, good choice of fine rocks at competitive prices. They even supply ketchup, you know. What? You eat rocks? Must be awful on your teeth. Nah. Troll teeth are the hardest substance known. And they're always sparkling clean, too. There's your hint that you one day might need that tooth. Now let's see if we can get in. We're asking about the key to the trailer. If I remember this cutscene, this is a very, very clever dialogue. Let's see if I'm right. When do I get into that trailer over there? What? Through the door? You mean you want to go through the door? Of course that's what I mean. Now what do you want to go doing that for? Because the wall has a solid, wally kind of look. The key, right? Well... I could only really give the key to someone who could provide me with three rooster feathers, a piece of string, and a huge clockwork. That's it. No, I draw the line right there. No quest, no items, no pathetic excuses for, quote, lateral thinking as I go stumbling about trying to guess what I have to fetch this time. Just give me the key. Why? I had my heart set on that piece of string. All right, we'll try logic. Now look, are you aware that there are multiple outcomes to each and every action that we take? Uh... Just say yes. Yes. Right. Well, that means that somewhere in the universe, there's an alternative world where you've already given me the key. Say yes. Uh... Yes. So since you've already given it to me, there's no harm in me taking the thing in hand right now. I mean, I've already used it once. Oh, right you are then. Here you go. Yeah. Let's see them make a game puzzle out of that one. They totally failed. That was the cutscene I was hoping for. Oh, I love that actual dialogue option. Let's go into the trailer and find out the whole pointlessness of all that we just did.
It was a cutout all the time. I could have just walked around. Don't say a word. Just don't say a darn word. I won't. Don't worry. Here's all the jewellery. Like they say, diamonds are forever, but oranges are for half time. Sparkly. This is indeed the person that the um, cut me own throat dibbler asked us to go and get. The milkmaid. The milkmaid. From rags to riches to skimpy lingerie, all in one fabulous lifetime. What do you want now, then? I was just wondering whether you were free, that is, if you might consider being part of a very special clicky that we're making. Oh, sure. But, uh, I get lonely on the set. You'll have to find me a little friend. Friend? Yeah, I lost my last one, you see. Friend? Oh, I see. For your ring. A little friend. Right. No rest for the weary. We need to go and get a diamond. So, we need to get a diamond. Getting a diamond I don't think is something that we do in this particular area either. I think we actually have to leave to do that. But while we're here, why don't we uh, engage in conversation with the trainer, eh? Hello! Faster! Work faster! Explosions! Put enough explosions into a clicky and who cares what the plot's like? You can put in giant rubber dinosaurs for all I care as long as they explode! Hello! Hello there! No time! No time to talk! I need more imps! More imps to put inside the cameras! Gotta have more special effects over here. Maybe a... maybe a... a lightning strike! Nyaaam! Boom! Look, you're a busy man. I was just wondering... Choom! Boom! Pow! Oh, never mind. Perhaps humor might work. Right! Now what we need in this clicky is more explosions! A gallop by crossbow shooting, some buildings falling down, a giant ape climbing a tower, and maybe we can find someone to write a script, too. Perhaps we should just draw a curtain over this sad little scene? No, 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 I think we need to ask more questions. So tell me, what are all these imps for? Cheap and expendable labor. They do all the special effects work. Hell, sometimes they even blow themselves up. I thought they were just used in cameras. That was then. This is now. Any imp can operate a camera, but only the most skillful can do blue screen and matte work. Fair enough. It's a funny old world. Let's go get that thing in the See corner later. that I've seen a camera. Woo! An impstomatic camera. Just and your own imp. Let's get it. I don't think he'll mind. Indeed he didn't. It is now ours. An impstomatic camera. Badly in need of an imp to power it. We will get an imp. At least staffing doesn't seem to be a problem. It's just like I always say, make a deal with the nethermost hordes of hell and the world will be right at your door. We, however, cannot get most of the things we now need in this area. We, in fact, need to go somewhere else. We shall do that. We, in fact, need to go over here. Jelly Baby. Good name. I wonder if it describes the place or the people. I don't think it describes either. Obviously where the undesirables hang out. We also need to go here, to the hill. But we'll go to the hill first. I can't just walk there through the same. Can't you? I can't just walk there through the same. What about the oasis? I can't just walk there through the same. Ah, we need a camel. When we come back, folks, we need to go and get that camel. So I'll catch you then, folks, and I'll see you then, later. For you can't travel across the desert on a horse with no name. You need a camel. Later.